today we're going to be replacing an LCD screen on the Acer E5-575G. First I want to show you what the screen looks like and then we'll start by uh, prying open the, the casing around the screen. Now this was a lot easier than I thought. Um, you don't even have to uh, unscrew anything uh, before uh, removing the surrounding casing. So just gently uh, pry open from the inside of the screen and eventually it will come apart. Just be very careful so you don't uh, break any of the plastic latches. Now the hardest part is up at the camera. That seems to be where it is most uh, stuck on there. And so I used a prying tool uh, to help uh, get that part off and I pried it from the top of the screen. So just be careful, don't force things too hard uh, so you don't break anything. And eventually it comes off. So the next thing we can do is start unscrewing things. Now there's a screw here, a screw here, a screw here, and a screw here. Uh, just four corners of the LCD screen. So I'm going to start by unscrewing each of the four corners of the screen. Now that all the four corners are unscrewed, you can carefully lift up the LCD screen. Don't pull it all the way out because there's a cable connected and you're going to disconnect this cable. Now mine didn't have any tape uh, taping it together. It looks like they didn't do that part for some reason. And so yours might have tape and you'd have to take off the tape first, but then it just slides right out. Then here's the new LCD screen that we're going to put in there. And I'm going to start by connecting the cable. Now once again, this just slides right in place. And mine has a little bit of a tape that can go on top of it. Um, if yours doesn't have that, just get some clear tape or something if you want. And then just set it in place. And now you can just start screwing in the four corners once again. Now that the four corners are screwed back in, I just want to test the LCD screen real quick. And as you can see, it is working as intended. I'm going to shut it back down and take off the plastic um, protect, protective seal. And then going to put a plas the plastic casing frame back in place. And this may take a little bit of time, just push everything back in place. It's not too difficult. Uh, just make sure there's no uh, gaps remaining on the screen. Uh, sometimes if it's not it, not uh, pushing in place, you can pull the inside of the frame up and push down on the end of the frame to help uh, get it back into place, as you can see. And eventually it will all go back into place. And as you can see, this is complete. Thank you all for watching. Please subscribe.